The visceral support for the posterior vaginal wall depends upon the intact rectovaginal fascia, which is responsible for the more horizontal orientation of the upper two-thirds of the vagina over the muscular levator plate. The rectovaginal fascia is located in the rectovaginal space and underneath the posterior vaginal epithelium. This layer supports the upper vagina from the apex of the perineal body, laterally along the iliococcygeus muscles and posteriorly to the uterosacral ligaments and cul-de-sac peritoneum. The rectovaginal fascia continues to the level of the ischial spines and thus overlies the sacrospinous ligaments. The perineal body is shaped like a pyramid with the square base between the anus and vaginal introitus. Its height is 3 to 4 centimeters with the apex located between the lower third and middle third of the posterior vaginal wall. The levator plate is the tendinous support formed by the fusion in the midline between the rectoanal junction and the coccyx of the levator ani muscles, pubococcygeus, puborectalis, and iliococcygeus. It is approximately four centimeters long and establishes a strong dynamic platform against which the upper vagina and rectum are compressed during valsalva stress in order to prevent vaginal prolapse. Inferior or below the levator ani muscles on each side is the ischioanal fossa. This area is filled with fatty areolar tissue and bounded laterally by the obturator internus muscle, medially by the rectum and anal canal, posteriorly by the sacrotuberous ligament and inferiorly by the skin of the buttocks. The pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels are located along the sidewall of the obturator internus muscle in the pudendal or alcox canal. The pudendal nerve and vessels give rise to the inferior rectal or hemorrhoidal branches which traverse across the ischioanal fossa to service the anal canal, sphincter ani muscle, and anus.